I am going to explain the use of a translate byte instruction with the help of this program. This program is used to find out the square of a given number. And this uh, translate byte instruction is very useful instruction. We can also use this instruction to convert one form of the code to another form. And coming to our program, it consists of two parts in it. So first part is data segment part and the second part is called as code segment part. So in the data segment, we declare all the variables which we use in our program. And in the code segment part, we write all the instructions which we use in this program. And coming to the data segment part, here I have declared three variables named as data1, data2 and result. So data1 is of type byte and it is one dimensional array and this data one is used to store the squares of the numbers starting from 0 to 9. That means uh, this is uh, 0 square and this is 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. So the data one is used to store the squares of the numbers starting from 0 to 9. And I want to find out the square of the number 6. So I have declared that as a data 2 and its type is also byte. I want to explicitly store the square of this number in another variable called as result. So I have declared this as another variable and its type is also byte. So with these three variables, my data segment part is completed. And coming to the code segment part, here we are having years and years. So what is this DS means? It is data segment register and this indicates code segment register. That means that the starting address of our data segment is stored in the DS register and the starting address of our code segment is stored in the CS register. And coming to the next two instructions, these two instructions are called as initialization of data segment register. And these two instructions are common in any program. Here what we are doing means we are initializing the data segment register with the help of our accumulator AX. That means after the execution of this move DS, AX instruction, our data segment register contains the starting address of the data segment. Okay. And coming to the next instruction, load effective address of data1 into SI register. So SI register is called as a pointer register and this SI register is pointing to data1. That means it is pointing to the starting address of this data1. So SI is pointing now to this location. Okay, and coming to the next instruction, move AL comma data2. So that means uh, our data2 value is 6 and we are moving that 6 into accumulator register. So after that, uh, we have translate byte instruction. So here we have to notice one thing. So before the execution of this instruction, the SI register is a uh, pointing to this location and our AL value is containing 6 in it. And once you have executed uh, this instruction, what happens means uh, the contents of SI gets added to the contents of AL register. That means our SI now becomes SI plus 6. That means our SI now points to the sixth location from the starting location. That means uh, SI initially is uh, pointing to this location before the execution of translate byte instruction and after that execution of translate byte instructions uh, our SI points to the sixth location. That means this is uh, first location, second location, third location, fourth location and fifth location and this sixth location. SI now becomes SI plus six. That means now it is pointing to the sixth location and whatever value that is present at this location now is loaded into the accumulator register. That means before the execution of our translate byte instruction, our SI is pointing to this location and our AL is containing 6 in it. 
and after the execution of this translate byte instruction our si is pointing to this location and our al value is 36 and now we are moving that value explicitly into result so that means we are storing the square of the number in the result so in this way we can find out the square of a number that means for example if you want to find out the square of a uh, number 3 so that means here we can write 3 and uh, si becomes uh, si plus 3 and from the starting location it will move three locations apart that means first location second location and third location at the third location already uh, the square of the number 3 is stored and it will bring back the uh, square of that number to the AL register and from the AL we are explicitly moving that into result uh, variable and uh, uh, without using any mathematical formula we are getting the square of a number so that is the use of translate byte instruction so coming to the limitation of this instruction it is used for byte operands only that is the limitation uh, we have with this instruction so thank you